Hello everyone, welcome back to the Herbal Bunny. My name is Tamitha and today we are going to be starting some seeds. Some artichoke. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so I printed off this growing chart for my area and you may be able to go online to the Farmer's Almanac and get yours. So this goes by your frost date and it has for each month one here. For our area, it shows that artichoke is planted in the last few weeks of January. So that's what we're going to be getting started on today since it's the last week of January. So I'm going to readjust the camera to focus down so you won't be seeing my beautiful face, you'll be seeing what I'm doing. All right, so we're going to start with a couple different things here. This is the seed starting soil that I like to use. You can use any one that you prefer, but I like the black gold seed starting mix. And I'm going to add just a little bit of this worm casting into the mix, just to give it a little bit of nutrients. Seeds already have nutrients in it for them to germinate, but once they get their true leaves, they really need some sort of nutrients to help keep them growing. So I'm just going to put the soil into a bowl here. Just like that. And then I already have my little seed trays from last year. I washed it out really well. I want to make sure that they're free of different bacteria and stuff so your seeds can have a fighting chance. So we're going to open this up. here. So artichokes, the part that we actually eat is the flower of the, the artichoke. And usually it's the hearts that everybody is after. Your artichokes, well most seeds do not need light to germinate. They just need some heat. So I'm gonna actually be keeping these upstairs when it's warmer before I put them downstairs in the grow light. Once they germinate, I'll put them downstairs. grow and then we're just gonna mix this up mix that in there you don't have to do that you can add like a liquid fertilizer later but I like to do it this way I've done fish bone uh, fish bone meal before especially with my tomatoes they really love it but I'm gonna try this worm casting this is the second time I've done the worm casting and they seem to do pretty well so we're just gonna stick with what works, right? Okay, now we're just gonna add just a little bit of water in here. We wanna get it damp, but not where you're wringing it out, where it clumps together nicely and there's no water dripping. So artichokes, they get about four to five feet tall. They need about two feet, two and a half feet spacing between others. They need about six to eight hours of sunlight each day. They usually grow in a Mediterranean, but you can grow them in zones five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they can tolerate temperatures like negative two. And they are perennials. You can actually cut them back in the fall time, cut them down and mulch them. If you live in an area where you get a lot of frost freezing, you can mulch it so that way it'll protect it and it'll come back. And usually it takes about two years before you can actually harvest them. So when you actually start getting the flowers, because that's the part we eat, you want to take about half so if you get 10 you want to take like five away because you like I said most people like the hearts of it so see how it kind of holds together but not crumbly or there's no water dripping out of it so the, that's the way you want it to look like that like that right there so it kind of holds together but it's not dripping wet okay uh, what was I saying you all made me lose track of my thoughts. <laughs> um, so yeah, the hearts, 
is what we usually consume and if we let all 10 of the flowers grow then they're going to be small so if we remove about half of them then the ones that are left will get bigger and that's what we want and again you'll have to be patient with these because they do take a while to grow I think it has like a 180 day to mature but it's well worth it if you really like artichokes I love artichokes I have some already growing outside and I want to grow some more so it will be a couple years before I can actually enjoy these ones but that's okay I'm fine with that but additionally you can use the leaves to help with all sorts of things you probably want to hear my puppy in the background I have her in a cage and she's not liking it I got a new puppy So the artichoke leaves, you can actually make tinctures out of them. You don't want to pack this in here too, too tightly, but you can make tinctures and you can take it um, before you eat. It helps to break down fats. People will have use it to help uh, lower cholesterol, lower blood sugar, it helps aid in digestion. It helps, it's a tonic um, or bitter. And if you take it, it helps your liver release bile and bile is like a detergent that helps break down cholesterol, so that's why it's really good um, for people who have high cholesterol. So there we go. And you just take like a dropper full, if you make a tincture out of it, you can take, take it before you eat a meal, especially like a fatty meal, if you're gonna be having some burgers or whatever. So there we go. There's what it's gonna look like. I didn't pack it in there too tightly, but it's, it's in there. I don't want to get this dirty. Okay. All right. Out to the side. So I do get these from MI Gardener. I get Baker Creek seeds. I've gotten the free heirloom seeds. If you see my last video, I made, or yeah, the last video that I made, I did a video on my free heirloom seeds. I did a seed opening and I ordered a lot of seeds from MI Gardener. This is my first year using MI Gardener. He's pretty popular here on YouTube. <clears throat> All right. So what I like about these seeds, they actually tell you on the back the instructions and the days to germinate and when to plant them. And spacing and all that. So this here says it takes eight to twelve weeks, or plant start indoors eight to twelve weeks before our last frost. Frost, our last frost here is like late March, and we have a pretty long growing season. So I'm just gonna take because I have twelve cells here. I'm just gonna put two in each one of these little pods. I'm just gonna lay them on there like that. Two of them in each cell. Let's see, what else can I tell you about artichoke? So the artichoke leaves also helps with high blood pressure and has anti-cancer properties to it. That's the leaves. But I'm sure that the, the artichoke itself is very good. It's got lots of fiber in it. Helps balance blood sugars. Some of these are darker, darker seeds. But if you ever let your artichoke like fully mature, the flowers are really pretty. So if you ever just want one, I don't know if that's going to grow that We'll see. But that's okay. You let it fully mature and just bloom out. They're they're really pretty flowers. Okay, so now we're just gonna take a little bit of soil and just lightly cover these up. With all seedlings, you want to water from the bottom because you can get kind of like moss and stuff growing on the top and they do better by pulling, if you think about plants outside, you know, it rains, but 
We usually want to get their roots. The roots go down in. And there's also circulation outside, so you want to kind of mimic outside by having some airflow to help prevent that, but also too because these are little cells, it's not like the actual ground outside. You have to really make sure that they don't dry out. But you don't want them to be too wet. You want to be just right, like Goldilocks. <laughs> All right, so we have that there, like that. And I'm just gonna pour this water right in the bottom. And I may take like a little, I have to put some more water in there, but I may take like a, a little spritzer and spritz that. But yeah, you're just gonna keep this in a warm place. Like I said, they don't need light to germinate. They just need some heat. So I'm gonna have these upstairs because I don't really have my grow light area ready yet. I got the lights, I just have to set them up. But yeah, so we're just gonna put this in a nice warm place let them germinate and then we're going to put the light. You can also put the, this, these here came with a little dome on it and you can, my mother's calling me, you can put the dome over it but once you get your first true leaves you can remove the, the dome or when they germinate some of the faster growing ones because you don't need that um, to hold the humidity in after they've got their first true leaves and you can even remove it before then. Like if, once they first sprout up and say hello world then you don't need that all right there you go and we're going to check back in a few days let's see it says on here 120 days to maturity 12 or four sorry 14 to 21 days to germinate so it, it may take up to three weeks before these will actually germinate and they germinate within temperatures of 70 to 75 degrees so Keeping them upstairs, put them on top of the refrigerator, heat rises, so somewhere up high. All right, you guys, we're gonna check back in a few weeks. Okay, everyone, here they are. So I planted these on January 25th. Today is February 4th. These took about five days before they germinated. I know on the seed packet it said it could take up to three weeks, but I think that's if they're outdoors, but obviously I didn't plant them outdoors. So here they are. I have a little dome on them. So once they get popped up and get all open, so there's still some germinating, like this one right here is still coming up. And then there's this one here. I don't know if you can actually see them. I don't want to tip them over, but there's still some that's still popping up, but like this one here still hasn't sprouted yet. Um, but yeah, so I planted two seeds in each cell. So there's two in this one, two, two, two. Two, two. So it's had a pretty good germination rate. This was the MI Gardener's um, seed packets. I need to put a little bit more water in it. So yeah, once they all start germinating, then we can take the dome off. But I do have them underneath a light that is heated. So heat, you know, um, helps them to spread out. But yeah, there they are. I'm really excited for my artichokes. All right, so I'm getting ready to plant some more seeds. So watch the next video. I got, uh, my friend bought me some flower seeds. I usually don't grow them in, in um, containers like these, the, the seedling containers, you just put them outside. I have done these particular brand, but I haven't had much success. So we're gonna try them in seed trays and see if they work. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching this video and I will keep you guys updated on how big these suckers get. Bye.